My name is Festus Iwagi. I work for Save the Elephants in the GIS department. GIS stands for Geographical Information Systems. It is a computer system for recording, displaying, and analyzing information that pertains to locations on the surface of the Earth. To be able to protect an endangered species like the elephants, it is important to know the behavioral reactions. It is important to know how the elephants behave when they are in the safe and they are in the unsafe areas. We study elephants in northern Kenya in an environment with different land uses, different land ownership types, different vegetation types. We aspire to know how elephants make choices in all these complex ecosystems. When the threats are high, elephants avoid. When the opportunities are created, elephants go into there. We have seen elephants avoiding areas that have been having high poaching levels. We have seen them increasing their presence in areas that have been converted to community conservancies. With the onset of GIS technology, a simple call on an elephant gives us locations at the desired time intervals. And just sitting back in the office, I can see where elephants are going when. We would not be able to get the GPS locations without putting a collar on an elephant. This is a fully functional elephant collar awaiting redeployment. In here, we have a GPS receiver and a transmitter. At the base here, we have a counterweight. The counterweight is for keeping the collar in an upright position. And we also have a battery pack to power this collar. These three units work together to make sure that a GPS is recorded, it is transmitted to the server, and it's powered up throughout the life of the collar of the elephant. At the moment, we have collared elephants in the Kipia Samburu ecosystem and several other collars have been deployed in other parts of the African continent. We have developed geofence technology within our tracking software. Geofence technology involves creating a virtual fence on the server, for example, around the farms. And when elephants approach this virtual fence or the cross, a text message is generated from the server to ask the researchers and the property managers on the ground informing the local rangers where they need to go and intervene and possibly keep the elephants away. In addition to geofence alerts, we have integrated immobility alerts. When an elephant collar stops moving and it's stationary for a number of hours, an automated message is generated. We call it immobility alert. When an immobility alert is sent out, we send teams on the ground to verify why the elephant is not moving. GIS is pivotal for the study of elephants because it gives us accurate information of where they are, when, and over time, the technology has improved to a level that we can get near real-time information. If elephants happen to be in an area that we think we need more information, we can remotely change the settings and have the reporting even on five minutes basis, down from the hour. Such detailed information of location is quite important for us to understand how they are behaving. I can't imagine a future of elephant studies without GIS. Elephants would survive, but the challenge of making them survive would be difficult, would be immense.